What's up everybody, this is Ruben with Tools of Freedom and today I have a video on a gun safe. This is gonna be my own review. I haven't been paid by anybody to say anything I'm about to say. This is a real owner's perspective on this safe. Now, this is a safe I did my research on. I read reviews, I watched videos, and even though there is something I don't like about this safe that is made in China, but so far it has done good to me. I'm happy with it. We're gonna go over the features that this safe has and the features that you might need depending on your case. So this is the safe right here, Browning Pro Steel Safes, and is the Ultra Series, and this one is a 33 gun safe. Now, this is a 520 pound safe by itself. I got it at Cabela's, the regular price is $1,300. I got it on sale for $9.99. And so far, I'm really happy with my purchase. Um, let's take some measurements right here. So for depth, we have, have a measuring tape right here. Let's hope it doesn't come off. So it's at about 24 inches. I give it another 25, including the lock and the handles are not assembled to give you more space for moving. So including the handles is about 28 inches, give or take. And in, in width, we have exactly about 29 inches, just short of 29 inches. And then for height, we have about 58 and a half inches. Now moving the safe was a little challenging. I unloaded it from the truck by myself, my own pickup truck, and then I put it on the dolly and then I brought it in and I put it in place by myself. So I would say about 600 pounds would be the limit to where one single person can move a safe. And now I wanna talk about the warranty about this safe. So when I was at Cabela's, the salesman really was pitching me the Cabela's Liberty Safe line. And I was really tempted to get that for a couple hundred dollars more. I think it was another $250. I could have gotten a 48 gun safe. But there is a feature on the Browning safe that really attracts my appeal. It's something that I'm about to show you here in one minute. And but to, let's talk about the warranty on this safe. So it has a five year parts and labor warranty. So if anything was to be wrong with the safe by itself, it's covered in five years. Same with the digital lock. So and this is from another manufacturer. So if let's say the, the digital lock was to go bad, you have five years and then you talk to the uh, CQRAM people, the company, and then they should help you out with that. Um, but Browning provides a warranty for life if somebody breaks into your safe, attempts to break on your safe, or if there is a fire. So on that side, that is really good warranty. Liberty does have the best warranty in the market, but I went with Browning because of this one feature and also I was gonna save a couple hundred dollars. So let me open the safe. So it has a six digit combination. Then you move it to the right. But this is the feature I'm talking about right here. It has a gun rack built into the door. And on this particular one, I can fit seven long guns and then three handguns up there, but I chose not to put my handguns there, except for those two revolvers. Uh, but this feature right here is why I picked this safe. To me, this is a lot of value because though I know those rifles that have scopes on them, they're not gonna get banged up, they're secure. I can grab one and I can put it back inside now these little plastic holders that it has, they're actually pretty strong. I actually gotta put some force and pull in that. 
so they're not going to come out by itself. And then on the bottom, there is a base for each long gun. So that is something I really, really like about this safe. Then there is uh, little pockets right here for you to store other items. I don't, I don't think the lighting here is very good. Sorry about that. Well, that is a door. It has four bolts on the side, one bolt on the top, and then three bolts on this side. So let's talk about the uh, ratings right here. So it has a 60 minute fire rating at 1400 degrees. So fire rating is always gonna be a good thing, right? You wanna get good fire rating, but I live 1.6 miles from the fire department. And then there's another two smaller stations about the same distance. So if my house ever caught fire, they should be here pretty quick, hopefully. And then this also has a technology that Browning calls price stock. And I think the way this works is that if you try and bang it from the side, um, it will automatically lock the mechanism behind all this and the bolts stay in place. So this is also rated for UL 1P60. I'm not very um, knowledgeable about all those ratings. I just cared about the rating right here for the, for the fire. Now this safe has a 12 gauge body, uh, what's it, uh, construction, 12 gauge body construction on it all around. And to me, that's pretty good. So when you're buying a safe, you're buying security. So you could spend a hundred dollars, you get a cabinet and then you go on from there. But security for me, where I live, I live in a quiet neighborhood. I mainly have it so all my guns are secured. But then I'm not so worried about a break-in because there's never been a break-in here in the neighborhood. Um, but yeah, let's uh, keep on talking about the safe right here and the features that it has. So here I installed a few motion lights. I got them from Amazon. The the three pack was $20. So far, I'm very happy with it. Uh, there's plenty of room here on the inside. You have these adjustable rifle rack shelves with the usual slotting for the barrel. So right now I have a couple of guns in here and then there is more room if I wanted to fit more in the future. I also put in this uh, EvaDry system to keep it dry in here. So this should uh, absorb most of the humidity. I haven't run into that yet. I've only had the safe for about a month. So, so far I'm happy with it. It comes with this rack for you to hang your handguns. Um, it also comes with four adjustable shelves. So I have one right here and then I have two here and then I have another one up top. And it does come with four holes for you to bolt it down. I have it bolted down with six inch bolts. And it also back here, it has a, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can pull this out so we can get some better lighting in there. Let me pull this out. Right there this little black circle i'm pretty sure that's an outlet as in for you to run a cable through there i i chose not to run an outlet because there is another plug on the back and i'm sure you can run a cable through there but personally i didn't want to do that i don't want any cables coming in here just for personal reasons i don't like that um but this safe has everything i need it provides the security I need to where I live. And with that, 
when you're buying a safe, you're talking about security. Well, in my house, I have a camera system. I have a camera that's directly looking into this. The camera is backed up to the cloud automatically. And then if somebody was to pull the power, cut the power to my house, I have a backup battery installed for my modem router and for the camera that is directly looking at this safe. And then I also have wireless cameras around the house. So those are going to stay powered on. And as long as there is internet, well, I'll always have evidence and I'll see who's breaking into my house. I can pull it up from my phone. I also have an alarm system in my house. And this save has been really good for me for the price point. I'm happy with it. The build quality is good. Let's show it right here and then close it. And now it's closed. So this is the Browning Pro Steel Safes Ultra 33 gun safe. When buying a safe, it's all about personal choice. One is your budget, two is the size, and three, the level of security. And I guess fourth is where it's made. This is built in China. I wish it was uh, built in the US because I know it would have better quality like that. But so far, it's been a good safe. And thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.